shalt not pass. Back to the old day. First chapter, a feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about find inside here, but it stinks! That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the twelfth statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of twelve statuettes wrapped in hair. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaral back and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds about right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm, all those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting fucked over by some goddamn door. My cousin Krimli always says, if it's magic, hit it harder. No, wait! You fucking mor- Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? Damn it, an orc! And I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Well, sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool, he's alone, this shouldn't be a problem. Well, 
It tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, he, he's... Uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, but sent them all running. Are you alright? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? It's because of that moronic dwarf. He must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> oh, we'll need his axe if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Eh, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit. Even by friendly fire. We have got no choice if we want to move ahead. We've got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head-on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats. Take this, chicken shit! Boom! Dodge that one!
did look weird. Woohoo! We won! We did, thanks to my perfect planning. Let's keep going. The others can't be that far. Ah, finally, there you are! Yeah, well, we had to fight off hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. It looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. Mm. I see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. It's opening. To the body. Yippee. Aw, I'm happy too, buddy. Might have expected him to bend the bars. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical to rummage through, we've come up with an interface for you. in my pockets. Don't mix the potions or boom. The poor get poorer. Well, I found some writing materials in his bag. I should be able to map the dungeon now. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going, although I'm pretty used to most players fucking around by clicking haphazardly. Hear something. Someone's coming. Go check it out. Why should it be me? Rangers are usually the scouts. Coward! Yes, sir. It's a perfectly honorable life choice. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Intruders. Let's eat them, too! Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up. We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else.
this teamwork? Toga, Swala, Bonwaza! Wow, what a fight! Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Enough defeatism. Let's go, we still have to find the dwarf and the barbarian. Come on, have a taste of my act, you orc scum. There's one dwarf yet in this dungeon who still draws breath. Yes, we'll kick your face in. You're lucky we're here. You're in over your head. Nothing's over my head. I'm tall for a dwarf. Toga, 
Sois là, bon trois Hey, watch out Just make it out alive in the end. my gold. Thirsty. Look out, it's a weirdo. Old dude with staff. A wizard! It looks more like a broom. Uh, hello? Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. Is a wizard? He 
looks more like a janitor. Well, that's very reductive. I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary maintenance, Janos Hitor. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell would get unbearable without me. Akala yum yum orkum. He's just gonna eat his work if you don't mind. I don't, as long as the floor stays clean, and it means less work for me. Ew, I'm gonna be sick. We're yeah. looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of mine which enables me to go wherever blood has been spilt. We could make him take it to the dungeon, master. Yes, take us with you. Nuh-uh. No time for such threats. Got work to do. A wizard. That was a wizard. He realized he should withdraw with haste. Who's this haste guy? 